Greetings, Diocese of Olympia and all who may be watching. I'm making this video simply to let you know I'm taking a vacation. And while most of you could probably care less about that, I do it this way this year, partly because of the extraordinary circumstances we have lived under this these past few months. And then because of that, my great hope that all of you will do the same. Like so many of you, my vacation plans will look very different this year. We will have to ditch some long-standing traditions and places and faces this year. And so, like many of you, we are staying much closer to home. There's sadness in that, but also some excitement. My wife and I intend to explore closer to home like we never have before, nor had the time to. We are really looking forward to that part. Maybe I'll see you out there. With all that is going on, it's never an ideal time to take off, but like most of you, I feel we are going to be in this for a while, both in the pandemic of the virus and in our long process and journey towards racial justice and reconciliation. And so with that as our reality, taking care of ourselves is still, and maybe even more, much needed practice. So while I'm staying around here, I'm unplugging. I will be out and out of touch from August 1st to the 24th. While I am, our incredible staff is here to help you with whatever you may need. Canon of the Ordinary Ariane Davison especially is a contact. And of course, April Caballero, my fabulous executive assistant, also stands ready to help. Now to that second part, my hope that you will take time and that you will encourage each other to take some time. While I really do wish that for each and every one of you, I have a special request, especially for the priests and deacons and staffs that serve you and this diocese so very well every day, pandemic or not. I hope you, as you can, will encourage them to take some time to encourage it, make room for it, bless it. I've always lived in such admiration of the stellar group of ordained people who live and work in this diocese. And I know that every one of you, lay or ordained, have contributed to these difficult days and yet through it all, none of our current trials have been able to squelch the Easter reality of our God, the glory and joy of knowing ourselves as loved by our God, who is love itself. Every day I'm profoundly moved by your creativity, dedication, and devotion to our shared life in the body of Christ. So be good to yourselves. Wherever you are, whatever you do, it's enough. God loves you as if you were the only person alive wants the best for you, and I wish it too. So bless you all, and I hope our paths cross, socially distanced, of course, very soon. Blessings to all of you.